ago, long before there was television or jet planes and automobiles, or even guns, people lived in the mountains and cultivated the land. Most food crops would not grow at such high altitudes, so millet seed and beans were planted and became the only food for the people who lived up there. As the seeds were planted, a prayer was said. Grow a thousand grains from one, grow ten thousand grains from two. Grow a thousand grains from one, ten thousand grains from two. Grow a thousand grains from one, grow ten thousand grains from two. Ten thousand grains from two. Taro! Taro! Dragon Boy, wake up! Come on, play with us! Taro, wake up! Can't sleep all day! Taro, come on, play! Taro, dear, you have to wake up. He's still asleep. He sleeps late every day. be tomorrow before he wakes up. He'll go into a man before he wakes up. He never plays with us. Let's make some noise and wake him up. <gasps> Run! The old woman needs help. Taro should be helping her. Yes, helping her, not himself. All he does is spend his time filling his big stomach. He either eats or sleeps. But after all, he's the child of a monster. Taro, Taro, won't come and play. Taro, Taro, sleeps all day. Why don't you get up so you can go back to sleep? <laughs> Dragon boy, dragon boy, a monster child. Eats and sleep or he goes wild. Taro, taro, fat and big. Sleeps and eats like a dirty old pig. Go away! Child of the world. 
corn. Here, babies, but leave some for your mother. Oh, it's the wizard Tangle. Looks as if he's headed for the next mountain. Will you take me there? Good. Let's go. Hello. What are you doing? Learning to wrestle. We want to please the great god Tengu who loves to wrestle. Ha! You call that wrestling? All you're doing is fighting. I'll show you how to wrestle. Ha! All right, who wants to challenge me? Oh, the badger, you try. Oh, yes, good. Who be next? I shall, I challenge you. as if you're strong for your size. What's your name? Taro, the Dragon Boy. Dragon Boy? How interesting. All right, I'll teach you how to wrestle. Come on. Oh. I pushed you right over there. Oh, 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 oh. I... <laughs> Wonderful. Say you're even stronger than I thought. Hey, what's this mark? Taro the Dragon Boy, I like you. Mmm, here, take a drink. This drink will give you the strength of a hundred men. Go ahead, drink. Drink all of it. <laughs> now, animals, try and push him. It's over. Arrow wins! And Dragon Boy, you now have the strength of a hundred men! Thank you, Tengu the Great Wizard! You're welcome, Dragon Boy! But listen to me very carefully. You must use your new powerful power I give you only to help others when they're in trouble. And you must help them only when they need your help. Only to help others? Yes, remember that. You can't use the power for yourself. If you get yourself into trouble, get yourself out of it. You're on your own. Have I made myself perfectly clear? Grandma! Hungry again. It's the middle of the night. Go back to sleep and dream about eating. Mm. Grandma! Grandma! Will you make me twice as much cake as you made today? Uh, you want to eat even more, Taro? No, it's not for me. I have more animals to feed on the next mountain. Uh, I wish you'd stop playing all the time and do some work for the villagers once in a while. If you help them, they might give us some millet seed and beans. 
Do work for the villagers? Why not? You could gather wood in the mountains. Truly the son of a monster. Mm -hmm. I've never seen you around here. Where is your home then? You come from the upper valley? Tell me your name, girl. They call me Aya. What's your name? I'm known as Taro, the dragon boy. Dragon boy? Do you think that's funny? No, not at all. It sounds strong. And that's what I am. And you play that flute beautifully. Will you play it again for me, Aya? Gladly. Vitamins today. I did take them. Ouch! Dragon boy, huh? Heal me, sorry. Thank you for saving me from the red demon. You're strong, dragon boy. Anytime you're in trouble, let me know and I'll get you out. Thank you, and now I'll go home. Come here and play the flute again tomorrow. Promise me that, Aya? I'll be here, Taro. A real promise. So long. Taro, you're rubbing my sore back too hard. Every time I help anyone, I seem to get stronger. Just keep in mind that you're frail. Grandmother. Oh. Oh. Grandma, so often I wonder, what was my mother like? Uh -huh. Was my mother pretty? 
I thought I'd tell you someday in the future about your mother. It's possible that she could still be alive. <gasps> if it's true, where is she? All right, Taro. I'll tell you about your mother now. It all happened a few days before you were born. Your father had already been killed when some rocks tumbled down upon him from the mountain, so your mother was forced to work with the villagers up in the forest. She was carrying you inside her. One day there was a terrible storm. Your mother didn't come home. Tatsu, where are you? Tatsu is gone. She was taken away. Tatsu has been taken away. After your mother was gone, there was a beautiful lake. Tatsu! Your mother had been changed into a dragon. Tatsu, what about your child? I shall manage to have my baby. A few days later, a baby floated down the river. It was you, Taro. You were feeding what a beautiful ball. It gave you all the milk you needed. <laughs> Why did my mother turn into a dragon, Grandma? I don't know, Taro. She never told me why she did. This comb. All I found with you was this comb. It belonged to her. You were suckled by the ball, and you grew faster than other boys. But when you had drunk all the milk that was in the ball, you began to cry. You cried without stop. I didn't know what to do. Tatsu, come here. Your child has no more food. It needs you. Tatsu, that ball from which your son fed was your eyeball. <laughs> I am blind now. I can no longer live in this lake. I shall go to another lake far in the north. What will I do with this boy? He will be all right. He will have great strength because of what I have given him. When he grows up, send him to me. I shall try to live to see him again. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye, my son. Goodbye. Goodbye. Grandma, I'm going to look for my mother right now. Foolish boy, you're still a child. I know, but my mother is waiting for me. All right, but wait until morning. You can leave at dawn. Mother, wherever you are, your son is coming to find you. I should have waited until you're older to tell you about your mother. Don't worry, I'll bring her back. Ah. It's terrible, terrible. The red demon came and took I away. I've got to save her. Ah, so it's you 
doing yet? I've come to rescue Aya. Mm. <laughs> Brave words from such a small boy, but they won't help because she's not here. Don't lie to me. Do I look like a liar? I brought Aya here to play the flute, but before she started, the black demon took her away. He what? Tell me where to find the black demon. He lives deep in the mountains at Mount Black Iron. Are you hungry? I'm making delicious rice cakes, and if you'll share them with me, I'll take you to the black demon's home. Rice cakes? Delicious, delicious rice cakes. The best you'll ever taste. Here, play my drums while I finish making the delicious rice cakes. As long as I hear him beating on my drum, I know he's in there, but um, oh, she is a terrible drummer. That's awful. Uh, I can't get this blade sharp just when I need it. Be careful. The red demon doesn't want to feed you. He wants to eat you. Huh? But I'm hungry. Isn't he making rice cakes for me? You give rice cakes to all of us, but no one else is so generous, least of all the red demon. You gotta get away while you can. Come on, Taro. So he thinks he's gonna trick me. I should have known better than to trust the red demon. Well, I'll teach him a lesson. I'll fix him. Uh, the delicious rice cakes are ready, my little friend, and I'm starving. <laughs> no, not my precious plate. No, no, it's going, going, it's gone. <laughs> Oh, again. Don't throw me again. I'm sorry. You're going flying if you don't take me to the Black Demon. <laughs> I can't take you. Please don't ask me to. I'm afraid of the Black Demon. If you don't take me, I'll throw you into the river with your drum. Not my precious <laughs> drum. And not me either. I hate cold water. All right, all right. I'll take you to the Black Demon. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, my feet hurt. This place is spooky. Oh, I missed my drum. Anywhere, flute player. Hmm? <laughs> My nose smells an animal, a demon, and a man. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out! Here I am! I'm Carol the Dragon Boy! Oh, huh. You're nothing but a little boy. Sorry, Black Demon. Hmm. The boy's only a mouthful. When you visit me, Red Demon, don't bring me a small boy. Don't bring me snacks. Bring me something big to eat, like a massive mastodon. Next time I will. I didn't come here to be eaten. I came to fight. <laughs> oh, you little mosquito, what are you buzzing about? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, home run! <laughs> I am the strongest demon in the world. So what? <laughs> no, 
cut it out! Cut it out! I have take a light! <laughs> Nobody fights a black demon and wins. Oh, what was that? Oh, you. You are annoying me. <laughs> to sing for the black demon. I bet I'd be around when they get here. <laughs> that double woe. What's wrong, red demon? The black demon ordered me to capture the girl. The villagers wouldn't let her go. So instead of beating on my drum, I beat on them. And now they're gonna beat on me. What'll I do? Where can I hide? I'll save you, red demon. I'll throw you up onto a cloud where you can work for the god of thunder by beating on your drum all the time. I can beat my drum? Oh, please, throw me, throw me! <laughs> ah, he's softer than a pillow made of duck feathers. Now I'll be able to play whenever I feel like it. It'll hear me all over the mountains. <laughs> Thank you, Taro. Thank you. And... Uh, <laughs> You'll be saved from the black demon by Taro the Dragon Boy and by Aya, that other young girl. Thank you both. You were very brave. See what I have found! A mountain of treasure in here! The rice for which we slaved. So this is where it's been hidden for all these years. The black demon took it from us and left us hungry. Oh, oh, this is better than gold of Italy now. Is this really rice? Mm -hmm. was the black demon's horse. It can run all day and never get tired. Without it, our crops will not grow. Look, do you see those rocks there? 
They were put there by the black demon so that all the water is kept up here in this lake. None of it can flow down to our farms in the valley and water our crops. Hmm? Oh, this strange mirror seems almost like a piece of the lake water. Here I am. Uh, come here, I want to give it to you as a gift. Thank you. All right. Black demon should never have put that rock there, so I'm going to move it out of the way. Hmm? That rock is heavy. Come on, let's help him. We'll never move it. All right, come on. Let's go. Move together now. stronger than all of us together. So that's where rice grows, in a big valley like that. Taro the dragon boy is great. Dragon boy, dragon boy, he is great. Aya! He got rid of Black Demon. Oh, yes, the Black Demon is gone. Hi, 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 hi! He was big and strong as a rock, like a mountain he stood. And with his club, the demon he would huh. swing. It's hard to believe that rice grows on plants like this. These are called rice paddies. We just planted them to grow. They need so much water. Without water, the sprouts would wither and die, and there'd be nothing to eat for anybody. Taro the dragon boy is great. Dragon boy, dragon boy, he is great. He got rid of black demon. Oh yes, the black demon is gone. Hi, 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 hi. He was big and strong. I'm sure you're hungry after all you've done. Well, we have for you a special treat. Here it is, boiled rice. I made the rice into cakes for both of you. Oh, they look so good, and they smell good. Thank you. Thank you. Water, quick, bring some water. Here, drink this. Oh, plenty of rice now. You'll be able to eat as much as you want anytime. <laughs> this is for you. What's wrong? What is it? Are you feeling poorly? Is it because of the rice you've eaten? Tell us, Taro. Do you have a tummy ache? I've never tasted such good food. I wish my grandmother and the others at my village had rice to eat. They've never even heard of rice. They work very hard, but all they grow is millet and beans. The poor... Farmers are poor and... <laughs> ah, Taro, now I understand why you cry. Your heart's gentle. You know how hard the world is and want to help people. All right. You can bring your grandmother here. Your grandmother and all the villagers as well. We'll all live together in this valley. 
They would be very welcome here. Now that the black demon can no longer cause us trouble, there is plenty of rice for everybody. Go and bring them. Thank you, but there's one thing I have to do first. It's the reason I began this journey until I finish. I can't go back. Thanks. Bye. Bye. And this is where we say goodbye, Aya. I'm heading north. Take me with you. Oh, no, I, it'll be too dangerous for a girl. But I want to go with you, Taro. You can't. Go back to my village and take care of my grandmother till I come home. Goodbye. <coughs> As for you, you look after both of them. Bye, Aya. Good luck, Taro. See the wind blow from the south. South wind blows. Now it comes from the north. Blow, north wind blows. Wind will guide me as I go, calling out my name. I am Taro. I am Taro, dragon boy, dragon boy, waiting for you. I hear you call my name. to those fields over there. They must have been good rice paddies. Oh. Excuse me, old woman, but I heard that a dragon lives in the lake around here. A dragon? Oh. I'm looking for one. The only one that I know of lives in the pond near my house. A dragon, huh? In the pond? It's what I said, but I don't see it very often. I need help with my rice paddies. Why don't you work for me? What would you want me to do? I own most of the land in this valley, and everybody calls me Rich Old Hen. I had a hundred workers working for me, but then they all ran away. They all ran away before they planted all the rice, and unless it's planted right now, it'll go bad. You live alone, old woman? All alone. Why did all your workers run away? They thought that that dragon living in the pond could cause them to become sick, and so they were afraid. Did any of them get sick? Of course not. That dragon is very temperamental. It appears only when the rice is harvested, and not before. So you might as well work for me while you wait for the dragon to come. You can live in here, where my workers used to live. Tomorrow morning you go to work, so go to bed, boy. So our dragon lives in there. He could be my mother. Hello? I hope that you're my mother and you'll appear one of these days. Anyway, I'm going to work here until I see you. Sound asleep. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, hello, woman. Get going. Take this and go into the fields and get to work. What is this thing? Boy, don't you even know a sickle? What did I do? Hire a fool to work for me. You got weeds with this. Now, get to work before the sun sets. The sun hasn't even come up yet. Whew. That rich old hen has so many rice paddies in this valley. People will never starve. Good boy! Work! 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 Uh -oh. ah! Get back to work!
you careless boy! You wrecked it! You! You stupid boy! He's an amazing boy! He must really be a dragon son! Oh, oh, Crows! Come on down and help me! Of course! crop this year more than enough for everybody may i just have a little bit of it to eat i'm so hungry my rice is much too good to eat for a stupid boy who doesn't know how to grow it properly all right if i don't get any rice i'll quit what quit oh come back here come back mother will you really come out of there when the rice is harvested i'll be able to meet you at last then I'll keep working for the old woman and I'll work harder. I hope Daryl finds her and comes back soon. has been harvested, so now is the time the old woman said you would come out. Ah, 
A giant serpent! What's it you who gave me a rice ball? Are you the dragon the old woman told me about? That greedy old woman would call me anything. She kept all of the rice for herself. She wouldn't share it with the farmers who grew it for her. She chased them away. She did? She told me the workers ran away because they were afraid they might catch the sickness caused by the dragon that lives in the pond. She said that because I wouldn't give her a drop of water. She's been telling nothing but lies all along. I worked very hard for her to harvest the rice because she promised that if I did, I would get to see my mother. A curse on her. <laughs> Thanks for the treat, little boy. A witch lives nine mountains away from here. She knows of a dragon. Go and ask her. A dragon in a lake? Yes. Tell her you heard it from me. Goodbye. Stay well. Whoa, woman, how could you cheat me like that and lie to me? That was a serpent, not a dragon, and you knew it. Now I'm quitting and you can pay me for my work with rice. <laughs> so you're leaving? Good. You may take as much rice as you can carry. All right, I will. I'll take as much rice as I can carry. Hmm. If he stayed, I'd have to keep feeding him until it's harvest time again next year, so I can spare a bit of rice just to get rid of him. <laughs> I'll share this with the workers that the old hag cheated. <laughs> you're carrying a bundle of rice plants rice plants so that's what they look like when they're harvested the old woman cheated you i'll give you some ah. it smells so good I nearly broke my back for the rich old hen, but she never gave me anything as payment. She sent me away as soon as the rice was harvested, and my family and I have been starving ever since. And mine. Don't worry, I'll leave all this rice here so there'll be plenty for everybody. No, Dragon Boy, that would be more than we need, but there are many poor people in other villages, so take some of the rice with you to give to them. Oh, oh very yes, good. Thank you. These mountains go on forever. They're so high. It would be thoughtless to eat all of this rice, so why don't we save some of this grain, plant it, and grow some? Then we'd have our own rice crop and we'd never again be hungry. But we need flat land for rice paddies. It's too mountainous here. I wish I was strong enough to flatten those mountains. I would flatten them flat. You have such a big dream for such a small boy. As he crossed the mountains, Taro the Dragon Boy wondered what he could do to make the poor villagers happy. 
At last he came to the ninth mountain. Oh, a light. I think that's the witch in there. you and what are you doing here? I'm Tara the Dragon Boy and I heard about you from a serpent. Is that so? Come into my house, Dragon Boy. You're welcome here. Oh. Is it true that there's a lake deep in the mountains and a dragon lives in it? It is true. Do you want to see the dragon? Yes, I'm looking for my mother. You see, she became a dragon. Your mother, eh? But this dragon doesn't show itself often, and I don't know when one can see it again. All right, I'll wait until it does appear. But tell me the truth. It's really a dragon? Certainly. I am not a liar. I'm very glad to hear that. The rich old hen lied about the dragon. She said if I worked hard for her, I would get to see it. But it was a serpent. <laughs> A serpent, eh? I knew that. That serpent used to be a young woodsman, but once upon a time, a long time ago, I turned him into a serpent. Huh? <gasps> Why'd you do a thing like that? Because he wouldn't do as I wanted him to. He was very disobedient. But you'll be a good boy, won't you? And I can use someone like you around here. So do exactly what I tell you to do or else. Make yourself at home, dragon boy, while I cook you some delicious witch dinner. Like a supper of mashed toadstools sprinkled with spider hairs, eyelashes of mouse, and chopped up shells of snake eggs, and for dessert, jelly of swamp gas. Sprinkled with spider hairs, eyelashes of mouse, and chopped up shells of snake eggs, and for dessert, jelly of swamp gas. Come back here! Come back, you sweet boy! What are you doing here? When I looked in my mirror, 
I saw you here in the mountains with those three snow women. They were turning you into ice, so I flew here to save you. How? Look. See how much bigger the magic horse has grown. Now it can fly. Oh, I never heard of such a thing. Come on, Taro. Let's ride the horse together. Mm. We'll search for the Lake of the Dragon. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Give up. Does a dragon live in the waters of this lake? Yes, it does. Are you sure about that? We're sure. A big one. Will you please deliver a very important message for us to the dragon? Tell her that Taro the Dragon Boy is here. I'm afraid of that dragon. So am I. She might gobble us down. You did a couple of scary fish, but I'm not afraid. I'll take her the message. I'll take your message to the blind dragon. You just said she's blind. Then it has to be my mother. It could be no one else. I have an idea. Take this comb to her. She'll recognize it. No, I'm her son.
Oh, I found you at last, Mother. <laughs> you did come, my tarot. All the way to this mountain so far north. Oh, Taro, how I wish I could see you. Mother, I'll never leave you. Thank you, my son. I'm sorry that I turned into such an ugly monster. It doesn't matter. You're my mother. That's all that matters. But tell me... What happened? Why were you changed into a dragon? It will be hard for me. But I shall tell you the truth. I was changed into a dragon as a punishment when I broke the code of the mountains. I was carrying you inside of me, so the villagers gave me an easy job to do. I was to make lunch for the villagers. I caught three fish in the river, and then I roasted them over the fire. They smelled so delicious. I was tempted to eat them. A woman going to have a baby needs more food than usual. She is feeding her baby as well as herself. I ate one of the fish. Then it was not enough, and so I ate another. And then the third fish. I became terribly thirsty. My throat burned of thirst. I went to the river and I drank, but it was of no use. My insides felt as if I was on fire. The gods were punishing me. Fish from the river must be shared with the villagers. If you eat all of the fish, you will be punished. That, my son, Taro, is the code of the mountain. I didn't think of the other people, only of myself. And so others went hungry. The code of the mountains must not be disobeyed. The laws of nature must not be broken. There is no second chance, and the punishment is terrible. I know one thing. I'm to blame for all your suffering. You were turned into a dragon when you had me. That's not true, my son. I myself was to blame, after all. I was greedy and selfish. I disobeyed the code. It's too bad there has to be such a terrible code. Why? Everybody in my village is always hungry. There's never enough food to eat. I want to change all that. Hmm. There is no way, Taro. All of the people work as hard as they can, but this earth is not fertile. I have an idea, Mother. That big rock over there is blocking the water from flowing out of this lake. If the lake was emptied, we could have huge rice paddies. Then the people from our village could come here and grow rice. More than enough to feed everybody. Will you help me move the rock? Carol, how did you get such an idea? As I traveled searching for you, I saw many places, and I worked hard to grow food for the hungry people that I met. I made up my mind that I would always help people in any way I can. I understand, my son, Darrow. You are a great boy. Years ago, I thought only of myself, but you think only of others. All right, I will help you. Together we will do what you want. Here, climb upon me. Grab my horns and direct me because I am blind. Never let go of the horns, even if you become frightened.
Are you all right? One more try, and the rock will be broken. Here we go. What's going on? Ha, 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 ha. 
Change into a woman again. I've paid for what I did so long ago. <laughs> Taro the dragon boy and his mother, a vast fertile land was made where the lake had been. The people of the mountains grew all the rice they needed and lived happily ever after.